VMware continues to demonstrate its leadership in the data center and in the cloud with all new levels of functionality introduced in vSphere and vSAM. This presentation showcases the new features and enhancements that VMware is introducing in vSAN 7 Update 3. Today, VMware's platform offers levels of flexibility needed for today's rapidly changing requirements. It's built off of a foundation of VMware vSphere paired with vSAN. This provides the basis for a fully software-defined storage and virtualization platform that removes dependencies from legacy solutions using physical hardware. Next is VMware Cloud Foundation, the integrated solution that provides a full stack of tools for an automated private cloud. And finally, there's VMware Solutions for the Public Cloud. VMware is partnered with industry-leading cloud providers that offer services based on VMware Cloud Foundation. This allows customers to build a hybrid cloud consisting of public and private assets using a common substrate of management and tools for consistent infrastructure operations. Public cloud partners include VMware Cloud on AWS, Azure VMware Solutions, Google Cloud VMware Solutions, IBM VMware Solutions, and VMware Cloud Provider Partners. Accommodating for change is one of the key requirements for today's IT environments. vSAN 7 Update 3 continues with this theme by offering all new levels of flexibility, efficiency, resilience, and security to meet the growing demands of our customers and their environments. You'll see improvements throughout the platform that touch on operational simplicity, security, resilience, and providing a platform for the cloud-native applications. Let's look at these features in more detail. VMware continues to enhance vSphere and vSAN's ability to accommodate the needs of developers and administrators with new features found in vSAN 7 Update 3. An infrastructure that can accommodate the needs of developers and administrators is key behind delivering services quickly and efficiently. Let's take a look at the improvements relevant to environments running cloud-native applications. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces an all-new level of flexibility in deploying and scaling container workloads for environments running vSphere with Tanzu. With this latest addition, the use of file-based read-write-many volumes are now supported in vSphere with Tanzu, in addition to the block-based read-write-once volumes supported in previous editions. This provides all new levels of flexibility and efficiency for microservices to simply mount and access the same persistent volume as other pods in the cluster. Read-write-many volumes can be easily exposed to Tanzu Kubernetes Grid, or TKG, guest clusters using vSAN file services. The Data Persistence Platform, or DPP, is the framework that helps integrate stateful applications in a vSAN environment through easy installation in vCenter. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces new capabilities that help with storage device decommissioning, as well as management of persistent service operators. vSAN clusters that use the Data Persistence Platform will now be able to decommission discrete devices more easily, very similar to vSAN clusters running traditional workloads. Decommissioning discrete devices helps minimize the cost of data movement when compared to host-based evacuation. With the latest version of vSAN also comes new certified versions of persistent service operators from our partners. Our partners, the Independent Software Vendors, or ISVs, will be making their announcement around their offerings, but one of the more intriguing aspects of these announcements is that beginning in vSAN 7 Update 3, the ability for these operators to be updated will occur without the need to upgrade any versions of vSphere, vSAN, or the vCenter server. The decoupling of the persistent service lifecycle management means easier updates for customers using persistent services. A developer-ready infrastructure must meet the many different requirements of an organization and the developers who build and manage applications. Site-level availability is often one of those requirements. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces enhancements to the platform that help accommodate when site-level resilience is needed. The use of stretch clusters can be ideal for environments using persistent volumes consumed by vanilla Kubernetes. All of the same resilience capabilities found in vSAN stretch clusters for traditional workloads will be available when using upstream vanilla Kubernetes, including secondary levels of resilience and site affinity. Modern applications are often deployed and scaled automatically, with very little knowledge of the underlying architecture or topology. With vSAN 7 Update 3, we introduce support for a relatively new feature in Kubernetes that's referred to as topology-aware volume provisioning. 
This provides a way to define a boundary or a zone that represents the location in which a pod can run and will ensure that the provisioning of a volume occurs in a location accessible by those pods. For environments running multiple vSAN clusters, this can be especially valuable as traditional vSAN clusters typically treat storage as an exclusive resource of the cluster. When topology-aware volume provisioning is used, pods can be scaled across clusters while ensuring those pods have access to their respective persistent volumes. Simplified operations means predictable outcomes. This is one of the reasons why VMware continues to make significant investments in improving the resilience and flexibility of operations with vSAN. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces a series of enhancements that was a direct result of feedback from our customers. Beyond enhancements that improve the robustness of vSAN, the improved operational handling also includes all new levels of visibility for customer workloads. Let's take a look at some of these improvements. There may occasionally be the need to perform a full shutdown of a vSAN cluster. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces new intelligence to ensure the graceful shutdown of a vSAN cluster so that the data and the control or management plane are halted in a desired state. Guided workflows with pre-checked validations will help with both power down and power up scenarios for consistent and predictable results. The simplified shutdown and startup procedure aligns with many of the other recent efforts to ensure operational simplicity of a vSAN environment. vSphere Lifecycle Manager, or VLCM, has introduced all new levels of lifecycle management of hosts that participate in vSphere and vSAN clusters. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces support for vSAN topologies that use dedicated witness host appliances. Both stretch clusters as well as two-node environments that use their own dedicated witness host appliance will now be managed and updated by VLCM, which is an important step to guarantee a consistent, desired state of all hosts participating in a cluster using these topologies. Not only does it include built-in pre-checks, but VLCM will perform these updates in the recommended order to ensure availability. The Skyline Health Checks for a vSAN cluster is an impressive list of detailed health checks to catch the most common issues such as misconfigurations and failures. New to vSAN 7 Update 3 is the ability to understand the relationship of one health check to another for fast and effective troubleshooting. Understanding relationships of multiple triggered health checks allows one to address the root cause more quickly, which may correct most or all of the triggered alerts. This functionality is available via API as well, so it can be used in solutions such as vRealize operations. Understanding the health and performance of a network is an important part of ensuring a hyperconverged platform like vSAN is running at its very best. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces several new metrics and health checks to provide better visibility into the switch fabric that connects the vSAN hosts and ensure a higher level of consistency across the cluster. Duplicate IP detection is now a part of the health checks, as well as the discovery of LACP synchronization issues that can occur with these lag configurations. vSAN 7 Update 3 even adds a configuration status check for the participating network interface cards and their configuration status of LRO, TSO. Ensuring consistency of LRO or TSO settings will help detect issues that may come as a result of the inconsistent configurations. Understanding potential performance bottlenecks in a distributed storage system like vSAN can be challenging. vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces VM IO Trip Analyzer to help administrators identify the primary points of contention more easily. With the ability to visually illustrate parts of the data path directly in the vCenter server UI, the administrator is presented with a simplified view indicating the likely cause. Not only will it have a visual data path, but it will measure the variability or standard deviation of the latency of the system, which can help administrators not only answer the question of performance, but of performance consistency. Many environments are adopting applications that are built in containers and use persistent volumes. To ensure that these persistent volumes are treated as first-class citizens in a vSAN environment, vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces enhanced levels of visibility for the persistent volumes. One can now easily identify the persistent volume name when viewing the performance information of a VMDK and drill down for an easy understanding of performance with the persistent volumes. The user interface has been reworked with comprehensive cross-linked information for easy navigation. 
Accommodating for unplanned events and new security requirements is the perennial challenge of the data center administrators. A platform that ensures the availability and security of data is a must-have in today's world, and vSAN 7 Update 3 delivers a number of improvements to help in this effort. Let's see how. Many customers have found a vSAN 2-node topology to be extraordinarily effective for remote and edge use cases. 2-node topologies are highly effective at providing resilience in the event of a single host failure, but with vSAN 7 U3, we've enhanced this capability to include secondary levels of resilience. Much like vSAN stretch clusters, 2-node topologies can now offer a secondary level of resilience when they have three or more disk groups in a host. This means that a topology could suffer an entire host failure and a failure of a disk group on the remaining host, yet still provide full data availability. vSAN stretch clusters are a powerful topology that provides full resilience of an environment even if a geographical site becomes unavailable for some reason. vSAN 7 Update 3 improves the availability of data if one of the data sites becomes unavailable, followed by a planned or unplanned availability of the witness host appliance. This helps improve the data availability by allowing for all site-level VMs and data to remain available when one data site and the witness host appliance are both offline. This capability mimics similar behavior found in storage array-based synchronous replication configurations. Not only is it applicable to stretch clusters, but this new logic works with vSAN 2 node clusters as well. vSAN offers encryption services to help ensure the integrity of the data stored in an environment. For vSAN data at rest encryption, key management can occur using the vSphere native key provider or an external KMS. vSAN 7 U3 introduces full support of using trusted platform modules or TPMs on the host within a vSAN cluster to persist the distributed keys should there be an issue with the communication to the key provider. The use of TPMs are fully supported using the vSphere NKP or an external KMS and is one of the best ways to build a robust method of key distribution and storage of the keys. Consistently throughout all of the vSAN releases is the continual effort to drive improved levels of performance by simply upgrading the hypervisor. vSAN 7 Update 3 delivers improved performance with optimizations made to the data path when using RAID 5, 6 erasure coding. How? vSAN opportunistically looks for conditions to write data in a more efficient way. vSAN now evaluates characteristics of the incoming writes in the queues and can write the stripe with parity in a more efficient way, reducing I.O. amplification and the number of tasks that occur in a serial manner. The optimizations are particularly beneficial for workload patterns that issue sequential writes or bursty write workload activity, sometimes found in database workloads as well as streaming applications. This, combined with RAID caching enhancements made in vSAN 7 Update 2, is a great example of how VMware continues to deliver higher performance on hardware you already have. With vSAN 7 Update 3, vSAN File Services introduces support for a technique of intelligent disclosure known as access-based enumeration. This feature, capable with file shares using SMB version 3 and newer, will reduce the disclosure of content to those with the appropriate permissions. Support of access-based enumeration will prevent a directory from listing all the folders within a share and only list those with the appropriate permissions for access. This type of intelligent disclosure helps prevent unintentional disclosure of information around sensitive material, even though a user may not have full access to that material. In conclusion, we've seen that vSAN 7 Update 3 introduces all new features and enhancements to address the needs of administrators, developers, and consumers. By delivering developer-ready infrastructure, simplifying operations, and enhancing the core platform, it's easy to see that the features included are not just a simple list of enhancements, but a coordinated effort to meet the growing demands of the data center, whether it's on-premises, at the edge, or in the cloud.